Um, so, Congressman, I'm rolling and ready to go. First, right. let me, when did you find out about what happened at Hank Gilbert's rally yesterday? I, I didn't even know there was going to be a rally until Sunday. And when it was uh, getting going, I found out and I was already uh, heading to uh, catch a plane to come back to Washington. I didn't, I didn't know that was happening. Got a text from a friend. So anyway, I wasn't there. Uh, I'll just have heard and read what supposedly went on. And it's just shocking to me that anybody running for office in East Texas would want to bring Portland violence to East Texas. That's not who we are. That's not what we do. And what makes you say that he wanted to bring Portland violence to East Texas? Well, there was, uh, it, it, the way I understand it, it was protest about Portland. And we have seen those were Marxists. There, Seattle, different places around the country, these were Marxist tactics. They were used in 1917 in what became the Soviet Union. Mao used them. You go foment violence, you incite violence, and then you blame it on the people that uh, did not cause the violence. You, you incite them and get them worked up. Uh, David Horowitz has written about it, talked about it. He was part of the 60s violence, and he got out when he realized they were really trying to get people hurt to help their movement go. So I don't know what was in the mind of the East Texas organizers, but to say you wanted to protest Portland sounds like you want to bring the violence from there to East Texas. And uh, from the videos I've heard about, it doesn't sound like there's anything definitive. I've been told that uh, there is nobody on any video yelling my name. Um, but uh, anyway, it's just when I talk about fighting, I'm talking about using a war of words. And I've always found that the truth was the best weapon. So that's what I'll continue to do. All right. Um... And you know, whether these people were your supporters or not, what would you hope that your supporters would do uh, in a well, similar situation? Well, I would have thought if it, was, if it were my, my supporters that were going out there, I would have heard about it before they got out there. And I didn't even know this was going on, but, uh, you know, until it was starting to happen. So uh, anyway, my supporters, uh, they're defensive of me, but... I don't know of anybody that would want to start violence like that. And I don't, I don't believe they did. It's, uh, it sounds like, like I say, from the videos and from other people that I knew that ended up going out there to see for themselves that it was, uh, um, it, you know, it was hard to see who started what. But it, I'm telling you, though, David, it reminds me of the 2016 uh, Trump campaign when we found out by undercover video that Democratic leaders paid for people to go to the Trump rallies to incite violence so they could accuse Trump of inciting violence. So it kind of feels like the same kind of campaign stunt. Okay. You think that hey, Mr. I Gilbert? Know. I don't know. I wasn't there. I didn't, wasn't involved in it in any way. But it just, uh, from what I'm hearing, it just reminds me of what the Democrats did in 2016, blaming Trump for what they did. Right. Have you reached out to him or his campaign, or do you plan to about this? No, I have no interest in reaching out to him or his campaign. Um, but again, I go back to, come on, uh, what's going on in Portland and Seattle those are led by Marxists. What kind of person wants to support the Marxist effort to take over those cities in this country? So I got nothing to say to him uh, or anybody that helped organize that whole thing. All right. Um, what do you hope that the campaign looks like from here toward November? I, look, I am so involved in what's going on in Washington and trying to get the truth out, trying to keep from bankrupting too many future generations the way Pelosi is headed. And uh, so I'm more involved in reading and working on uh, legislation and also 
Uh, we got a hearing tomorrow with Attorney General Barr. I'm preparing for that as well. So uh, I, I'm, I will let the chips fall where they may. Uh, I'll work on trying to help save this little experiment in self-government. And, you know, the Democrats that want to foment violence, uh, they'll do their thing, and I'll try to save the country from here. All right. Um, I think one more question that I'd wanted to ask you that uh, I saw some photos from Morning Telegraph reporters who were there that some of the folks for the, the back the blue side who got in the scuffle with Hank Gilbert's folks were carrying Confederate flags. And I know yeah. you just proposed that resolution to you know, ban any group from Congress that had any tie to slavery. Because yeah. that's, um, so gonna... that's a Democrat Party thing. And besides that, I, I know from going back to Tea Party days, when we saw anything that was racist at Tea Party rallies, uh, we would come to find out these were plants by liberals trying to make Tea Party look racist and the Tea Party folks would run them off. So I don't know what the situation was there in Tyler, but uh, yeah, I, I, I have no problem. If the Democrats want to start removing everything that reminds people of the Democratic Party and their support for slavery and Jim Crow laws and, and segregation and all these things so destructive to African Americans, well, uh, I'm okay with that. Let's, but. I would rather keep our history and learn from the good and the bad and uh, even the ugly. That, as a historian, that's what I'd like to see. But if the Democrats want to go down this road, that was all they're doing. They, they wouldn't even support, none of them supported the 14th Amendment that gave uh, African Americans recognized they had every right to be citizens. And then the 15th Amendment that appropriately gave all African Americans the right to vote. Uh, not one single Democrat supported either one of those amendments. So hopefully uh, the truth will come out and people will understand um, we're for equality for everybody. All right. Well, I thank you. I, I appreciate you being willing to. to do this sure. and talk about this stuff. Anything I hadn't asked you that you wanted to say? Not that I think of. It's going to be interesting tomorrow with the Attorney General Barr testifying. And I'm looking forward to seeing him again. All right. Yeah, that should be a, that should definitely be an interesting hearing. Uh, okay. All right. Well, Congressman, thank you so much. I sure. appreciate it. You and bet. Have a great rest of your day. Okay, Dave. Thank you. Thank you.